My youngest memory of music is probably my mom and dad jamming in the house because my mom was a piano player in my dad's band. And that's my youngest memory of music. But then seeing those four guys at Olympia Hockey Arena in Detroit where the Red Wings used to play, I was just, I'm in the same room with the Beatles. And now I look over and right where that chair is, a little higher, is Ringo. I just skipped to pinch myself. I got into Spinal Tap, uh, not in the movie, of course, but that's a guy named Rick Parnell. He was Mick Shrimpton, and he just kind of disappeared. And then I came in probably around 95 or something like that. But we played uh, Live Earth in 2007. It was Ringo's birthday, 7707. And 80,000 people in Wembley Stadium, and everybody, I mean, the opening band in the morning, you know, first book of the Bible, Genesis, they started with Phil Collins, and then the Chili Peppers, and uh, Madonna, the Foo Fighters, the, um, Metallica, but every band hung out to see Spinal Tap, because it was just the comedy thing, and all the bass players played with us, so we had 18 bass players playing with us on, you know what song, right? Yeah. What song? Big bottom. Big bottom. That's right. You are a fan. Well, the first time I met Christopher, uh, I met his wife, Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah. And she taught me a lesson that I'll never forget because I was going to a recording session later that day. And I said, I got to go. I got to go to New York and do this recording session. She said, no, you don't got to go. You get to go. You are going to be able to fly to New York and play a recording session from Los Angeles. And she said, that's, you know, you have to change your wording from now on. You get to go. And she's just so cool. We did Best in Show, Waiting for Guffman first, The Mighty Wind for your consideration. And sitting at dinner with those guys, with Michael and, and Chris, especially Harry too, but they're all so funny. And I like to tell jokes, but you have to pick your moments with those guys because the jokes are just flying. I, my dad was my first teacher and my degree in college was music ed. And I, I don't really teach you know, public school or anything, so I'm kind of using my degree in, in the clinics. You know, We just finished a really fun South American Ringo tour. We got back last week and it's, my favorite thing is playing live with Ringo, but I just love doing these clinics and I love seeing the smiles on the faces because I was in a room in Detroit about the size of this room, a little smaller than this, and Alan Dawson, this great drummer with Dave Brubeck, um, was giving a clinic and I, I was probably 10 years old and I remember it like it was yesterday. So if you can be a, an influence to kids especially, that's pretty darn special.